Hello everyone, welcome to another Router Gods video. My name is Humphrey Chung and in this video we're going to do practice scenario one in BGP. So I've made this into a two-part video. The first part is talking about the topology, the IP addressing, and basically a walkthrough of basic setup. In part two we're going to go through the actual configuration of OSPF and BGP and some of the problems that you're probably going to be running into. So in this topology we are simulating a two router company. You can see on the left we've got router 1 and router 2. And router 2 is your border router connected to the outside and it's got two serial lines and you're multi-homed out to Cogent and AT&T. So you've probably let's say you've bought a T1 from both of those. You're going to be running internally OSPF and your BGP autonomous system number that you've been given is 25,000, so 2500. Cogent's AS number is 174, that's actually Cogent's real AS number. And AT&T World Internet Services, their BGP number, autonomous system number is 7018. If you ever have some free time, you can look up autonomous system numbers and see how many links uh, and how many prefixes an autonomous system is advertising by going to the CIDR report. It's a very good website. And we'll go right here. And you can see it brings up some really interesting stuff. www.cider-report.org AS 2.0. So you can see how many uh, prefixes there are, the size of the routing table. So right now the routing table is about 331,000 routes. I'll click on the the graph right there. You can see how, uh, how crazy it it's getting pretty insane, right? Okay, so going back to GNS3, it's going to be pretty easy, pretty easy setup. Uh, router 1's got a loopback 0 of all 1's, slash 24. Router 2 has a loopback, all 2's, slash 24. In between router 1 and router 2 is 101012.x. X is the number of the router, so dot 1 for R1 and dot 2 for R2. In between R2 and Cogent, We've got 152.112 and 152.113. Both are slash 24s. In real life, you'll probably have a slash 30. Yeah, you're probably not going to waste a slash 24 on that, but just for practice purposes, we made it easy by putting everything as a slash 24. And just a reminder, these are serial lines in between R2 and Cogent and R2 and AT&T. The loopback on Cogent is 152. 1.2.3 slash 24 and we've got two loopbacks actually the same loopback IP addresses on both Cogent and AT&T and this is to simulate networks coming in from let's say two make-believe networks on the internet uh, we could pretend that it's eBay and YouTube uh, those aren't actually the IP addresses for eBay and YouTube but uh, you know just for practice we'll just assume that in between R2 and AT&T We've got our serial line, it's 153.1.1.2 and 153.1.1.3 for the AT&T side. And you can see the loopback on AT&T is 153.1.2.3. Alright, so let's configure the basic IP addressing, host name, and uh, some other stuff before we actually start getting into OSPF and BGP. So we'll hit play on GNS3. Uh, actually, before we do that, R1 and R2, these are actually all four routers. You could use the 2691 image or the 3725. Uh, the other ones will probably work also. I like to keep all my images the same. Uh, it cuts down on the memory usage. Since these are serial lines in between your border routers, on R2, what you're going to have to do is right-click, configure, click on R2, and slots and you're going to have to add the WIC 2T that will give you two serial interfaces. Cancel that. On Cogent and AT&T, you're going to have to right click and configure slots on them and it's going to be a WIC 1T for a single serial interface. And you'll have to do this before you actually start the routers. Okay, so routers are started. I'm going to go to my console window. and I am up and running. Uh, I've actually, looks like I've already loaded in the configs on this. Actually, that's alright. 
and I'm going to minimize everything. We'll start on R1. Enable Conf T. Okay, so first thing you do is, if you've watched my previous video as of most common or basic router configuration steps, of uh, setting the host name, you know, no IP, domain lookup, line console one, all that good stuff. Uh, if you haven't watched that, uh, I'd suggest you go ahead and take a look. Uh, it's going to save you some headaches for later on. But if you want to skip that, that's fine. At the very least, you should do the host name R1 to change the host name. Actually, I like to have my routers in capital letters, so host name capital R in one. Int loopback zero. And you set the IP address for that. Int fast zero zero. And I'm going to move my terminal window over a little bit. IP address 10.10.12.1. It's a slash 24. And it's a no shut. All right. And what you want, might want to do is do a write mem on that. and show IP int BR just to verify that your connections are correctly configured. So we've got two loopbacks, all ones, or we got a single loopback, that's all ones, and a single fast Ethernet interface. I'm going to minimize R1. I'm going to go to R2. I'm going to move my console window about right there. So you'd configure your host name, conf t host name R2. Then we're going to start with the loopback, so int loopback 0, IP address all 2's, and it's a slash 24. Int serial 00, IP address 152.1.1.2, and that's a slash 24 also. And on that we're going to do incap PPP, just for, the, just for the hell of it, and no shut. Then we'll go over to int serial 01, IP address. 153.1.1.2. It's a slash 24 also. Incap PPP, no shut. That should be it for R2. Do a quick verification, show IP int BR. And we look good. Let's see, fast Ethernet. Okay, fast. Okay, so we need to do. Oh, actually, fast Ethernet 01 isn't connected anywhere, so that's fine. So everything looks good there. Do a quick write mem on that. Minimize that. Go over to Cogent. So Cogent, I already configured it. Hopefully you guys know how to how to do this by now. Show IP int BR. The 000 interface, you can see that's the IP address. And I've got my loopbacks already in there. Loopback 0, loopback 5, and loopback 6. Go over to AT&T. Enable. Of T, show IP int BR, and the same deal here. Whoops, show IP int BR. You can see my serial interface is up, got our loopbacks up, and everything is good. And what you might also want to do, it's always a good practice, is make sure you can verify router to router connectivity. So AT&T to router 2 over here, 001. We have success. And let me go over to Cogent. I'm going to ping the other side of the serial interface, 112. And we have success right there. All right, so this was a quick and easy video of the topology, setting up the basic topology and basic IP addressing of our BGP practice scenario one. In part two of the video, we're going to actually get into configuring the OSPF and BGP portion of this scenario. Thanks for watching.